What's up guys, it's Dynamic here. Today I'm going to bring you my first squad tutorial. And this tutorial is going to be about heli-gunning. And how to be an effective team to best utilize the helicopter. To not only take away tickets from the enemy team, but benefit your team as well. This tutorial is going to cover pretty much everything that I know about heli-gunning. And I've done heli-gunning quite a bit in squad. I've not only been the pilot, but I've been the door gunner as well. This video is going to lay out two fundamentals. And then after that, it's going to dive into the categories of what is necessary to be an effective team. With that said, let's dive straight into it. The first two necessities that I need to lay out is the fact that you need a duo partner and you need piloting skill. So if you're trying to do this with a blueberry, it's not going to be effective. But if you have a duo that you can do this with, it's going to be super effective. You're going to be able to grow a relationship and be better at this the more you do it. So if you're a dog gunner, you need a pilot friend. If you're a pilot, you need to find yourself a door gunner. The next thing is piloting skill. The pilot needs reasonable skill in the game to be able to do this. You can't be a new pilot. You're not gonna be able to maneuver the helicopter correctly and you'll probably end up just crashing and wasting assets. So have reasonable skill in the game and you'll be so much more effective. All right, with those two fundamentals out of the way, we're gonna dive into the categories that are necessary to make this effective. First up is situation. You need situational awareness for this to be good. So try scouting, try listening to command chat, listen to your squad and call outs. The more you do this, the better your situational awareness will be. If you have good situational awareness, you're gonna be so much more effective. Next up is aiming angles. Aiming angles is super important to know, especially as the pilot. It's also good to know for the door gunner, but it's super important to know for the pilot. For instance, the MI8 on the right hand side door can aim super far forward, but not too far back. On the left hand door, it can aim pretty far back, but not as far forward. If you know those aiming angles, you're going to be able to utilize those to take out the enemy, especially in a helicopter chase or just normal strafe runs on infantry. If you're the pilot, I would recommend being a door gunner at some stage to try to know the aiming angles. Because if you as a pilot know the aiming angles, you're gonna know how to turn the helicopter and which helicopter to turn in a way to make your door gonna be able to see what they need to shoot at. So aiming angles, super important, make sure you know them. Next thing is communication. This is gonna get better the more you do it, but if you communicate constantly with your door gunner and pilot, it's gonna help your situational awareness and keep you alive. So say your door gunner is ulting out of the helicopter and he's looking and scouting things, that communication between the door gunner and pilot is essential to keeping the helicopter alive. I'll quickly throw up an example, but I want you to listen to the communication from the door gunner that I'm receiving as the pilot to tell me where I need to move the helicopter, that way he can aim, or where the helicopter's going, that way we can chase him if we need to. Go for his tail, go for his, yeah. or the gunner. Maybe I'll get the gunner then turn. Uh, left rotation and elevation. Oh, he's far away. Yeah, that's right. What'd you get? Hell, and the gun. Oh, bro. That was perfect flying as well. Fuck yeah, good shit. The words left, right, elevation, depression. All those short, snappy words are a great representation of good communication. That way I know how to respond and how we can defeat the enemy helicopter. But this isn't just for chasing helicopters. This can also be for infantry. If we're getting shot at and there's a light on our tail, say tail, that way the helicopter pilot can rotate and you can neutralize that lap before it shoots at you. Good communication will grow over time, but make sure you're communicating between the door gunner and pilot. Next up is how to aim. I get so many comments on my shorts all the time from people who don't play squad and they're telling me to aim for the pilot or lead more. It's like, no, you need to know squad to be able to know where to aim. In squad, you can't kill pilots. There's an invincible force field 
around the pilot, so you can't kill them unless the pilot's bugged, which happens sometimes, and their character's outside of that bubble. But basically just don't aim for the pilot because they're invincible. Aim for the engine or the tail rotor. If you're chasing a Logi and it's full, aim for the infantry or the driver. And then once all those are killed, aim for the cargo or the engine and that'll destroy the Logi the quickest. But a rule to cover all of this is use your tracers. You can ADS or non-ADS. I know a few gunners that don't ADS, they just hit fire and use shift to zoom in, which helps you see the tracers a little bit better and you don't have the gun in the way. But I like to ADS because then it brings a vertical representation of where the bullets are coming from and then you can use the tracers to see where they're landing. Also use the bullet impacts on the objects as guides to where your bullets are landing, but tracers are your main focus. Use the tracers to guide your shots in and you're going to land a lot more shots if you do that. If you're trying to shoot a helicopter, there's heaps of different situations which may change where you aim. I'll chuck up a few examples now of when to aim for what component, but basically these decisions need to be made on the fly. Sometimes it's better to aim for the engine, sometimes it's better to aim for the tail rotor. Helicopter's on the move. What us? Yep. Go left. I can't see him. Yeah, can you guys you see? Yeah, yeah, he's coming right up on us. I just, he's a little bit to the left. Yeah, that's good. He's got a gunner. He's hit me. I got the gunner out. He's going high. He's banking over the right. Stopping right. Hold on, busy. It's hard right. He's flying away. Oh, so. I don't know how bad I'm hurt. Were you going for his engine or his um, Engine, tail? engine. Okay. That's pretty weak. We're going to have to just do a quick bug and yeah, pass yeah. here and hope for the best. Fuck. I need depression. Good Got shit. I think he's landing. Yeah. So in that clip you can see the burns aimed for the engine, which was a good call because the enemy chopper was super evasive, so aiming for the tail would have been super difficult. The engine is a larger surface area, so it was easy to hit and we were able to take out the enemy chopper. Now let's have a look at an instance where we go for the tail rotor over the engine. Wait for him to get past Nova. Or if he's resupplying, hit him. There's a lab here. His tail's so fucking weak. Hold ammo, hold ammo. Go for it. Got him, got him, got him. He's going down. Nice. Good shit. So in that clip, you can see that we pulled up next to the enemy helicopter. So going for the tail was ideal because we had a nice side on shot. Uh, the enemy helicopter flew away, which was kind of difficult to aim for the tail rudder, but as you can see, Frosty landed most of his shots and was the tail rudder was almost destroyed. So continuing to go for the tail was the best idea. And then towards the end of the, that clip, you can see that I tell the left organ to hold his fire because I knew that the, the Venom had to cut in front of us to get to his main. So we we're trying to get closer to cut him off. That way he was guaranteed to land the rest of his shots. When to back off. If you get shot at by a lat or a hat, I'd recommend back off straight away. Go heal at main, come back out. Because if you get shot by one AT, it's only going to take one or two more AT and you're going to die. So if you get shot by a lat or a hat, get out of there, heal up, come back. If you hear armor shooting or feel it hitting you, try to evasive maneuvers, get out of there as soon as possible. Keep an eye on your engine health and your tail rotor health because those are going to go the quickest when you're getting shot at by armor or infantry. 
Once those start to deplete pretty quickly, you might want to RTB and get out of there as soon as possible. ATGMs, if you see that whiz by your screen or you hear it or you see a puff of smoke, try to take a mental note of where it came from. And then next time you come out of main, either stay two Ks away from that area or fly above the toe and then dive on top of it and take out the toe gunner. And then you can decide to land and take out the radio if you want to. We do that quite often, but just decide what's best to do at the time. Thanks. Oh, shot oh, gunner. Oh, oh. Right. Ooh, direction. Came from our rear. Yeah, southeast, I think. Yeah, all the air best. Yeah, smoke. Yep. You didn't react from the yeah. first one, bro. Mm. I called the toe, you were just cruising along. Lucky you missed. Oh, we're dead. Oh, he's bad. He's dead. Damn. Go for him. Squad 16, move back to I line. Shot. Lanny. Did I get him? I'm not sure go. if I got him or not. We're there's being another guy, shot there's another guy ready. Where is he? At the bottom, at the bottom. Oh, in fact, there's multiple. Got shot. him. Shot. I'm reloading. Are we dropping? Yeah, go, 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 go. Taking small arms. The hab's in there. Approach types. I'm going to chuck in a few examples of approach types in the background right now. Basically, there's an infinite amount of approach types or shooting types that you can use. I'm going to chuck up some of the basic ones, but experiment with these, create your own. There's heaps of different methods that you can use. As long as you're smooth with the helicopter piloting, that way your door gunner doesn't have to recorrect his aim because of the jolts that you're doing. Just try to keep it smooth movements and your gunner's gonna be able to land most of his shots. Some basic ones are J-hook over the objects and then shoot them down. A few other ones are doing a wide high circle. That way you're on a constant move and you have some distance between the enemies and you. So it's difficult to get shot out. You can do a low short spin. This is good for when there's only a few targets and you need to take them out while staying on the move quickly. Another one is hover, but this one's super specific. I wouldn't recommend hovering anywhere near the enemies because they're going to shoot you out of the sky. The only instances where I hover is when we take out a helicopter's tail rotor or engine or we wipe out a full logi and we need to destroy it. So only use hover in very specific situations where you know you can be safe. There's heaps of different approach types or shooting types, so experiment with these, develop your own. Let me know in the comments if there's an approach type that you guys use that I haven't used on this channel, and I'll give it a crack. Next thing is timing. So you wipe out a full logi at the start of a game, you know that that logi is gonna respawn in three minutes. So just keep a mental note of timers and when things are gonna respawn, because a full logi might come back out of main again and you can take it out. Same goes with helis. If you destroy one or two enemy helis, you know that they're gonna respawn in five to six minutes. So just have a mental note of when things are respawning. That way you can take away more tickets from the enemy team. The last thing I wanna cover is protecting your door gunner. This is super important. If you're shooting at enemies and they're shooting back at your gunner and he needs to reload, what you wanna do is put something between him and the enemy's fire. To try to maneuver the belly towards the enemies or Twist the helicopter in a way that puts him out of harm's way. Once he's reloaded, you can reacquire and approach the situation again. But make sure you're maneuvering the helicopter that way he can reload safely. If he needs to keep shooting at a target, instead of reloading, try to maneuver the helicopter in a way that gives him time to swap to the other door, and then you can keep shooting. So make sure you're keeping your gunner protected. That way you're going to be suppressing the enemies for longer and you don't have to fly back to main to pick him up again. And that's pretty much everything there is to know about heligunning. If you guys like this video, chuck it a like, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below if you think I've missed anything or if there's anything that I said wrong. I know a few of you guys are interested in my squad settings, so I'll chuck those up on screen now. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Catches.